So I don't want a hot wife. Now, I know I sound crazy, like I hate myself or something, which is only half true, but I promise I've got a point here. A point in the form of a story that might have led to me getting banned from a restaurant. Also today, I brought my friend Emily, who I'll be using as a buffer so I don't sound like a crazy person for six and a half minutes. Wait, what? All right, so me and three friends were planning on going to this party, and it was an important one. See, one of those friends who we'll call, like, Mike, actually, uh, Hakeem, that's a little racist, DeAndre, his name's DeAndre, and said that we should go because a certain girl was hosting it. Wait, why does the name matter? Oh, it's not necessarily important to the story, it's just so people don't think I'm Klansman racist at a certain part of it. Oh. So it's 10 o'clock now, and the party starts at midnight. So at the time, we were just sitting in my friend's ass dirt car. So I proposed we went somewhere else and waited. Somewhere that didn't smell like a Waffle House. So we went to a Waffle House, and while we're eating, the conversation drifts towards the girl hosting the party. And see, she was particularly of note because she was what most of us would consider in the biz. Fine as fuck. She was smart, uh, funny, pretty, and um was very... Uh, uh, like... He's trying to say she has a fat ass! And the guy taking us to the party, DeAndre, was particularly uh, obsessed with her. And during the convo, my friend makes this statement. Yo, anyone who wouldn't date this girl is essentially crazy. She's the Moby Dick of girls, some would say. I don't think calling a girl a Moby Dick in any context has ever been good. Yeah, he's weird. Now, I didn't necessarily agree with DeAndre's statement as y'all can probably guess. So I said something I low-key regret. You know, I don't think I would date her. Hey, what did this neighbor just say? Neighbor? Yeah, um, he's had a different uh, N-word, though. Oh, that. You know what word I mean, though, right? Yeah, I get it. Because I can say it if you don't know. No, I get it. You don't. 100% sure, because I really can just tell you. No, really, I know what you mean. Oh, okay, okay, good. He said no. Oh my god. Now you know why I named him DeAndre. Now, I don't know if you've ever been called a in the middle of a predominantly white Waffle House. Pretty sure that's a pretty exclusive experience, but it's scary. Everyone is looking at us, and uh, Homeboy didn't care. They just want an explanation. So I gotta say a response that both expresses how I feel and doesn't prompt him to get us kicked out the restaurant. I just don't want the attention. Now, I don't know if you've ever been called a in a predominantly white Waffle House twice. We get the dirtiest look from the managers. And I figure if I just explain myself to DeAndre, we'll be in a decent position. I mean, getting kicked out wouldn't have been the worst thing. Yo, can you get HPV from a waffle? But I don't want to reinforce any stereotypes to the people who probably haven't seen that many African Americans. So I opt to explaining my whole story and maybe he'll understand and calm down. So here's what I said. See, I try to avoid being pointed out as much as possible because attention sucks. It's really just people judging you, but with like like a navy blue coat of paint. And if I wanted that, I'd just like, like call my mom. Now, typically, i do anything to avoid being judged that I can, even on little levels. Like, I don't want to be called out in class. I try my best to avoid teenage girls because they laugh at me. And I even try not to wear white after Labor Day. Like, who gives a fuck? about wearing white after Labor Day. It's just some fake rule made by some rich white guy's wife in the 1800s because she wanted to figure out if her neighbor, not that neighbor, well maybe, was poor. And I still don't do it. So knowing that a hot girl would do the exact opposite of having peace. See, let me introduce you to Richie's Law. Second to a force more attractive than you, you are the off center of attention, which theoretically, sucks because you are only the center of attention in relation to a thing like more attractive than you you are essentially the honeydew of people and because she's so hot i'd have to defend her from dudes all the time like she's got a small army of dudes around the clock trying to slide into her dms inbox and pants and not necessarily in that order. They already established I'm not good at talking to people, but that goes double when the people are being confrontational and triple when those confrontational people want to stick their dick in my girlfriend or, or really want to stick their dick in anything while I'm trying to talk to them. They're sticking their dick anywhere, I, I feel weird. That's not to mention a hot girlfriend would be high maintenance. Like, like think Beyonce, uh, Mariah Carey, one of those. They know pure decadence, like million dollar cars, meals, giant homes. A special occasion to me 
is an extra large fry in an M&M McFlurry at McDonald's. I'm 99% positive that is their rock bottom. I don't even think I can find a picture of Mariah Carey eating McDonald's. Okay, there's one picture, but look at that. That's 1990s rapping. This was years ago. Mariah hasn't had McDonald's in years. Well, that doesn't mean she has years. And then they stopped me. I kind of look around and see that now I'm one of the people bringing attention. But overall, I felt like I drove home my points pretty well. Wait, so really that just sounds like you're insecure. Thanks. Emily? I'm just saying. But uh, funny enough, that's exactly what one of my friends thinks too. And I replied, Oh, well I am, for sure. But it's cool. Now, I don't know if you've ever been called a n three times. Waffle House patrons weren't too happy, and neither were they. They then accused me of something pretty wild. You need to have some confidence and believe that you're a 10 just the way you are, and that you can bag and deserve whoever you want, as long as you put your mind to it. Wait, are you about to say that's wrong? Well, yeah. You're a sociopath. I promise it's, it's for good reason. See, it's like how, well, you know how not too long ago there was this thing about health where we wanted people who were overweight to still feel happy and confident, but still have the motivation to get healthier? That is also me, but for like general everything. Just because you're confident doesn't mean you deserve a 10. And that's how I feel. That implies that I don't have personal growth to do. And have you met me? <laughs> I literally have a video called I flirt with girls I don't like. Like what I think we got some work to do on this. We end up looking at the time and are hella late to the party. Also the manager was like hovering over our table. Like it was time to go. But all that waiting didn't matter because apparently the party got shut down. Kind of poetic, I, I think. Now moral of the story. It's not really much of one in this one. Listen, man, I'm different, okay? Yes, I am an insecure dude. I have irrational fears and rational reasons why I don't want to talk to girls, I guess. Who doesn't, though? Is this me? Or is this me? Okay. But where I draw the line is saying I deserve something when I don't necessarily do. Maybe when I work up myself a little bit more, then uh, I'll, I'll actually be ready to have that 10. Just saying. So do I sound like a sociopath now? Like 60% less. I'll take it. Oh, what's up, y'all? Yo, so if you like that video, why not consider subscribing? It's it it, it I, I, words. Why not consider uh, subscribing to the channel? I mean, everything I'm doing is pretty much essentially that. Uh, saying why I'm a terrible person and I have a terrible opinion. So yeah. Big shout out to Emma Richu for being a part of this video. She is fantastic. Thank you for your lovely voice. I also wanted to share this gem of a line. You're a cock juggling thunder. You're a raggedy ass looking. I'm just kidding, Kurt, I love you. It is much appreciated. Check her out, she's awesome. Also, big shout out to Mads for doing the thumbnail as usual. Thank you, homeboy. Oh, and I uploaded a again? What, what? His arm again, I know. All right, y'all, th thanks for watching and I'm out, peace.